Hello, everyone. What? <laughs> what? what the crap? Well, it's our second episode. Who am I? You're Sam. And who are you? My name's Ken. Oh, indeed you are. <laughs> just checking. I'm just happy we get to do this again. Oh, yes. And, well, and unfortunately with you, though. <laughs> unfortunately with me? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Oh, of course, yes. I love being with Careful you. with that sentence. Yeah, I might, I might die here. Uh, what are we talking about today, Ken? Well, guess what? It's something that uh, oh, I hate to do this because fantastic. <laughs> you see, you know, uh, talking about our, I think talking for both of us talking about our own country is not particularly interesting for us. Well, of us. course, for me, not so much to talk about Northern. I mean, I love it, but not so much to talk about it. So interesting, but f- and for you too, to talk about <laughs> absolutely. It. But you know what? It's interesting to me. Yeah. Never been to East Asia or South Asia, really? or whatever it is. Never been there. Uh, I've been in Vladivostok. Mm-hmm. I've been in Israel. I've been, of course, here's Asia technically, but I've never been anywhere China, Japan, or anywhere Southeast like Asia. Yeah, nowhere like that. Australia, but not it's not Asia. Is it? Yeah, no. So I kind of passed over it, I guess, to get to Australia. Oh well. Uh, but I, I'm really curious. I mean, my geography is terrible. I need to look at a map. Like, where where the heck is <laughs> the Philippines? Well, but that's what we're going to talk about today. Isn't it? Um, yes. <laughs> it sure is. I'm so, not an expert of my country. However, I'll try as um, best as I can you, to, you know, You mean talk you about didn't it. do your homework? I did. <laughs> you know, I, I don't did like, some research. I don't like when people don't do their homework, you know. I am prepared though. But <laughs> I have to say that um, I, I just want to put it out there that I'm not really, you know, an expert, so to speak. Mm. However, well, since the, the topic for today is the Philippines, then... I have to, you know, say you know, something about my country. You're going to be our expert today because you're the only one. <laughs> I'm the only Filipino knows. here. Yeah. And I have a really good question to start with. Go yeah. ahead. In the Philippines, I'm very, very professionally asking this. All right. Are the many people named Philip? <laughs> <laughs> you're trying to be funny. <laughs> I, I know I'm funny. Well, interestingly, um, although I would say that there are, you know, many men who are called Philip, but it's not the case. Like it's the dominant or popular name. The no. Philippines, no? Yeah, Philippines. where the name come from? Well, okay, okay. That's a good thing that you pointed out because um, when it comes to the origin of the name itself, Philippines, well, you're right. It's uh, named after Philip. Mm-hmm. As in Philip II of Spain. Um, I have to say though that originally Philippines is called Filipinas or okay. Felipe, which is the oh, Spanish name okay. for, you know, Philip. Didn't and, even know that. Well, you know, I was just trying to be funny as you say. <laughs> now you know. <laughs> and um, so we were named after Felipe the second or Philip the second, who mm-hmm. was a uh, you know king of Spain before when mm-hmm. the Philippines was discovered by yeah. the Spaniards. I know. I I did have a very quick uh, check of the history, like a while ago, a while ago. And I know there's, like, it was conquered by Spain, yeah? Right. And then kind of uh, taken over by America or something? Yes. Like that. Oh, yeah. you did see. You, I you did your research. Bit. Don't, I couldn't point it out on the map unless <laughs> it's written down, but I know a little bit, yeah. Well, so tell me more about your history. So, well, um, in terms of the race, we are Malay. Mm-hmm. Well, we we'll, we'll live in Southeast Asia. Mm-hmm. And then in 1521, a bit of history, you know, the Spaniards came over and then for 300 years, we were colonized by the Spaniards. And yeah. with that, of course, you know, came in the influences, um, the Roman Catholic Church. Mm-hmm. And so, you, you know, a large majority of us, we are Roman Catholics. Okay. And um, what else? When it comes to the language itself, um, well, there are two official languages in my country, one of which is Tagalog, which is um, about 60% of the words were borrowed from Spanish. Yeah, I've heard of that. No no idea what it it sounds like, (laughs) but I've heard of it. How do you say hello in Tagalog? Tagalog. Tagalog. (laughs) How do you say hello in that? You know, well, we say kumusta. But kumusta in itself is... You it's know. a bit Spanish, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. I'll give you some words uh, mm-hmm. that you know in Tagalog, which is very much the same in um, in, in Spanish. For example, a spoon. We say mm-hmm. in Tagalog we say cuchara, and in uh-huh. fact, cuchara is Spanish. Okay. Another word here is um, table. We say la mesa, mm-hmm. but 
obviously that's Spanish. I know it's Spanish because you have la. Yeah, <laughs> la. must be Spanish. La mesa. Oh yeah. And then when it comes to you know books, well, books we say libro. Uh huh. Yeah. Ooh, that's familiar to me. So it's basically Spanish, and it reminds me of life. Yes. Yeah. Okay. In addition to that, um, our surnames. For example, my surname is Amante. Uh -huh. And I met this Spanish couple when I was in Thailand. Um, they told me, "Oh, amante, interesting, because amante in Spanish actually means lover." Wow. Okay. And I'm good at that. Yeah. I'm a very so good you're lover. you're like world famous. <laughs> well, I am. <laughs> okay. And um, my, my surname is Pops, which means I'm my ancestors made pots. <laughs> they were pots. Uh -huh. so it's not quite the same. Your pots though is double T. Yeah. I think they just didn't know how to spell. <laughs> anyway, but still related to pot, pottery. Mm. Um, what else do you want to know? Oh, okay. Going back to the history. So yeah, for uh, over 300 years, we were, you know, under the, the Spanish rule. Mm. And Did you like that? Um, not really, for because you? to be quite honest, um, I don't think there was that good of a treatment among Filipinos. Okay. Um, we weren't given voice in the government. Of course, yeah. there were some positions given to us, but it's like, you know, um, it's still under the jurisdiction of, you know, the Spanish mm. throne. Okay. And then after that, technically we were sold after the American-Spanish War mm. to America. And sold? Yes. How much? For 20, $20 million. Mm, it's not, not a bad price. But I have to say though <laughs> that um, I think it's one of you know, the good things that happened um, in our history. I mm -hmm. mean, not everything is, is good, but um, we're thankful that somehow Americans came. They introduced their language, mm -hmm. English, which we now yes. speak in the Philippines. And this is the reason why I'm having this conversation with you. Yeah, absolutely. But this begs a question for me. From what is the UK, it? would you have rather it was the UK that bought you? Oh! Ooh, oh. <laughs> you know, I don't want to... Okay, um, as much as I like American English, <laughs> but to be quite honest with you, um, every time I listen to British um, accent, there's something about it that is captivating. And, yeah. you know, personally, every time I listen to British accent, I don't know, it sounds very interesting to me. Yeah. Okay. I, I don't know, maybe, maybe because I'm maybe so used were, to American accent. Yeah. Maybe it's just because it's a little bit different. Too. Yeah, it sounds kind of posh. Uh -huh. With my accent? <laughs> um, no. <laughs> you sound like somebody from the slums. <laughs> we, oh, thanks. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> but we, yeah, I mean, we're not known for a posh accent in Northern Ireland. And we don't pride ourselves in that posh. I have to say, though, you have an okay accent. <laughs> That's a wonderful compliment. Is that condescending? Yeah. I'm so sorry. Um, I don't want to, you know, to, to so mean it that Tell way. us, so tell us more. What, do, what about this history? Like, I mean, in what way is English used? How how influential is it in the Philippines now? Because of America's bio or bio over or whatever you want to call yeah, it. Yeah, well, um, when it comes to English, as I've already mentioned, we have two official languages, one of mm. which is English. Um, the status of English is, um, well, of course, official language, and it's also the medium of instruction in our schools. That means, of course, that all subjects are taught in English, yeah. You know, mathematics, science, um, of mm -hmm. course, English literature. So it's like the official, like yes. used in official context. Right. Okay. Uh, 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 except for Filipino, where, you know, that is the subject where we learn our yeah. like national language. Okay. But um, so outside of, uh, you and know, are you education. Fluent? Are you fluent in Filipino? You know, I think I am probably, I can express myself much better in English than in Filipino or Tagalog because, uh -huh. you know, believe it or not, um, when I was in Kazakhstan for the longest time, yeah. I spent most of my time with my um, Russian friends. Yeah. And uh, of course, we spoke English to each other. And of course, during my classes, they don't you know, love Tagalog. Uh, <laughs> no, of course, they don't <laughs> well, even if know. If I pronounce it Tagalog. Yeah. Um, and I, at that time, I didn't meet my Filipino friends, so I didn't uh -huh. get the chance to really use the language. Yeah. And then one time when I was surrounded or when I met my Filipino friends, it was a bit of a surprise to me because when I started to speak in Tagalog, I was stammering. Kasi, you know, yeah. um, and then it's like Taglish, you know, it's I what, code what switching. Say, 
rusty. You're a bit rusty. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And, and, and they could notice it. And you know, they asked me, "Ken, what happened?" Yeah. Um, you know, because at school we speak in English, and I speak English to my friends. That's why. I, you know, <clears throat> I gotta say, I've never ever experienced that in English, but I kind of like the idea that. I, what, what I'm just curious, what would it feel like if I was like. Oh, oh, I don't remember the <laughs> word in English. I mean, oh yeah, I don't remember some words sometimes, but I mean, what would it be like to be rusty in your native language? It's your native language. Isn't yeah, it? I, I mean, I, your first language, but not your exclusive. Yes. Yeah. Because we, okay. By the way, in the Philippines, we grow up bilingual. Basically, when we're born, um, and sometimes we can have another language. It depends mm. on the region. Because, for example, in my case. Um, I grew up learning three languages. In fact, yeah. Um, although Trilingual. I was, can we say trilingual? Yes. Yeah. Although I was born in Manila, um, shortly after we moved to you know the southern part of the Philippines, and in that part of the country, they have their own language. And when I say right. own language, it's totally different from Tagalog, which is like the national language. Uh -huh. So when I was you know when I spent my childhood there, I. <laughs> It, this is ridiculous because at home we spoke Tagalog, which is yeah. the national language, and uh, some, you know, English. Uh -huh. And then after that, uh, I went to school. All su all subjects were in English. Yeah. But every time I had to go to the local store to buy something, I yeah. had to speak the local language. So yeah. I was learning, and you know, um, and you didn't really know languages. Yeah, yeah, it just wow. occurred to me naturally. Okay, because you'd already got three, and it was kind of similar. Well, um, no, they're not similar. They're totally, completely different. Yeah, wow. yes. Wow. So that's why, for example, if you are somebody from the south and you speak to someone from the north of the country, yeah. um, you wouldn't understand each other. Do they like each other? Um, yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Ooh. There are some cultural differences, but this is really interesting. generally. Um, I know. I know you're not like you expressed. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to talk about my country. Yes. <laughs> for me, it's really interesting. Oh, you know, really? Like, yeah. It is? It's completely new ideas. And then, yeah. let me tell you something. Mm. Um, just another story. Um, when I was in one city in the Philippines, which is, you know, a central city, okay. I turned on the TV to watch some local news. And guess what? I was really shocked. Like, am I in the Philippines? <laughs> what language are they talking about? You uh -huh. know, this is another thing that other people don't know, is that in the Philippines, we have more than a hundred languages because wow. before the Spanish co uh, colonization, we used uh -huh. to think of ourselves as separate nations. Oh. Because well, the like Philippines tribes, uh, kind of, like, kind of like that. Yeah. Because the Philippines Did you say Uga Buka and carry a spear. <laughs> no, it sounds like an African language. Not like that. No. no. <laughs> so as I as I was saying, we are an archipelago. So basically, uh -huh. made up of. You know, Big chunk of islands, yeah. Right. Group and, of islands, yeah. Um, when the Spaniards came, that's when we realized that, oh, in fact, we're, you know, we're one and the same people. We have the uh -huh. same skin color. And look at these people, they're white. They're, they are uh, colonized. They kind of united you. Yeah. yeah. So somehow, mm -hmm. even though we don't like some parts of our history because of Spanish colonization, but, mm. you know, it has some good, you know, uh, impact on us because it made us realize that we are one people. And mm -hmm. uh, going back to my um, uh, topic earlier, um, each island or, you know, some regions tend to have his or her own language. Yeah. And so when I was in that city watching this local news, I thought, oh my God, am I in the Philippines? <laughs> what are they talking about? I couldn't <laughs> understand them. Yeah. But they you were could speaking. Understand. You couldn't understand but them. You're watching the news in your own country. Yes. And you're like, what the heck? Yes. Exactly, mm. because they, they were, you know, using their local language. I guess it can happen in Northern Ireland because if we have Gaelic on TV, mm. I never learned it, and so I guess that could happen. But I mean, it's very rare now mm -hmm. um, because when I was a boy, there were like non-digital television, and there were Gaelic one or two Gaelic uh, uh, TV channels, mm. but not now. I think unless you really search for. Them. All right. Do you recognize Gaelic though? I mean, so uh, when somebody speaks in Gaelic, absolutely, because the accent is an Irish accent, oh. and it's so weird to hear another language, but the accent is familiar. Oh, okay. It's like, oh, I know this. This is familiar. It's friendly to me. It's home. This and must warm. Be. 
but I have no clue what they're saying. <laughs> it's, it's, I, I would love to know it, but it's so different from English. It's, it quite, would be quite difficult to learn. Like. Sounds like, you know, the case in the Philippines. Yeah. Mm. Right, let me see what else I'm going to ask you. Three words you would use to describe the Philippines. Okay. Where um, everyone is from. Can you rephrase that question? Instead of the Philippines, can I just say three words to describe, you know, Filipinos, the people? No. Come on. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, so describe the people. Yes. Three words? Yes. Go ahead. I would say that Filipinos are God-fearing, mm. family-oriented, and optimistic. Mm. Why God-fearing? Well, um, you know, we are a very religious people. Mm -hmm. um, although Roman Catholic... What do you mean fearing? Because maybe not everyone knows that. God-fearing. So somebody... You fear, you're afraid? Or? No, no, not, not, not necessarily. God-fearing, that means you believe in God, mm. that He's, well, He's almighty. And, um, well... You, I think you can replace it with respect. Yeah. God, God respecting. <laughs> Although I know God-fearing is the traditional way to say it. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I, well, I don't know about well in British English, but at least in my country we say God fearing. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we I strongly know, believe in God. Um, we are well, as I've already said, we're religious people. Uh, mm -hmm. I have to say though that um, although Roman Catholic is the dominant religion in my country, uh, in the southern part, um, about I don't know, ten to fifteen percent are. Muslims. Um, mm -hmm. That's the influence of our neighbors, Indonesia, yeah. Malaysia. Okay. Um, yeah. And in every situation that we have, be it good or bad, we always acknowledge God. Uh -huh. Thank God for today. It has been a good day. Yeah. Everything went well. Okay. Or in times of um, difficulties, Lord, I know that we will be able to overcome this. Yeah. So, okay. Um, the other thing is we're family oriented. Mm -hmm. um, our lives are basically centered on Do you have the family. Babushki. Babushki. <laughs> Babushki. <laughs> a Russian How brand. How is my pronunciation? Ooh, it's you, maybe bad, bad, is it? Babushki. Babushki. Okay. Okay. I, I think I'm sure <laughs> I'm sure other people will correct us. Yeah. Anyway, they, they understand. Did your granny live with you? Yes. Yeah. In fact, I was raised by my grandmother. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. I guess a little bit my granny helped me. Uh, my parents, I mean, but not every day. Mm -hmm. I didn't see them every day. Yeah, close, close by. But I think probably less so than in the Philippines, I'm gathering. Well, uh, you know, we love our family so much. Um, sometimes we can have our extended family together, like we live together. Yeah. And, um, you know, the reason why most of us, for example, you know, well, not me, obviously, but for most Filipinos who work abroad, the main reason is to help the family, mm. you know, to support them financially. Okay. And for example, if you um, if you work abroad, um, you're not really expected to, you know, like support your 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 parents or your younger yeah. brothers and sisters, but it's just deeply rooted in us that we mm -hmm. feel the need to help everyone in the family. Okay. Even though we are, you know, married is ourselves. It, is it like the Godfather? Respect me, respect the family. <laughs> Something like that. Oh, well, I, probably. <laughs> I'm just pulling. I'm just pulling your leg. No, I. You know, somehow, even though I don't know much about the Philippines, I had a feeling it was that like that. Is there? Are there other countries like that in Asia, East Asia, I, Asia? or is it just maybe a stereotype? I don't know how. I don't think so. I don't know. I, I think we're maybe, maybe I've heard that somewhere. Mm. And do you think it's the same in Russia from your experience? Um. I don't think so. Less, so. less so, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And what was the third word? Tell um, us the third tell one us here is optimistic. optimistic. Yeah. Optimistic. Are you optimistic? Yes. Yeah. You know, um, going back to the idea of you know uh, religion, because we we believe in God so much, mm -hmm. um, we're very optimistic because <clears throat> the thing here is we think of the here and now. We don't care mm -hmm. so much about the future. I mean, okay. of course, it has its good and bad points. Good point is that. We don't take life very seriously. Okay. That's why if you go to, for example, Manila and you go to the slums, yeah. you might think, oh my God, the poverty here, it's unbelievable. But if you look at the people, you see them smiling and yeah. you would wonder, um, is there something wrong with you? Why, why are you smiling? <laughs> yeah. like, can't you feel, you know? Is it know, because of pain they're smiling? The, right? <laughs> yeah. But we, we, laugh, we laugh a lot. We yeah. love jokes. Do you have good crap? we have an extremely good crack over there. Mm, okay, so it's not unique. 
Mm. And that's why that's the one thing I'm proud of being a Filipino because yeah. we um we are just a very happy people and yeah. I would say very friendly too. Right. Let me ask you another question. Are you ready? Yeah, go ahead. I hope it's not cont- controversial. It, 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 it always always. I hope not. I try as much to be controversial. No. Uh top 5 places you would recommend. It can be out of the way, the unusual places oh or God. the normal places. Ah, to oh, visit as a tourist, right? Where would you go? I'm a tourist. I'm in the Philippines. <laughs> I've just landed. I haven't a clue. Where should I go? I'm gonna say though, um, as much as I don't want to talk about the typical tourist destinations, but I have no choice because they're the best ones. Yeah. One of them is Boracay, which is known for its white beaches. Okay. And um, with it's surrounded with sounds okay. I mean by palm trees. Mm-hmm. If sounds you're okay. into it. Sounds okay. I think most people will like that idea. <laughs> you would love it. Yeah. You would love it. The other one here is Chocolate Hills. Um, it's basically... Chocolate Hills? Yes. Interesting, Chocolate right? Hills. <laughs> how, is this a paradise? How do you imagine it? <laughs> um, I, I'm also thinking of pine, pa, oh, palm trees <laughs> made of chocolate. No. Like sand dunes <laughs> made of chocolate. <laughs> and maybe little warriors made of this chocolate. This is not... Like, um, China. How do you call that? Um, uh, Charlie and the... Chocolate factory. Yeah. No, no, not that exactly kind of chocolate. Like no, no. <laughs> you cannot eat no? these hills. Um, there, there are about a thousand hills, mm. and they're covered, of course, with grass. But they what? Not grass, chocolate. but they turn brown in the, uh, uh, during the dry season. Okay. And thus, we call them chocolate I, hills. I have to say, I'm slightly disappointed. <laughs> Sorry, it's not edible. Can you, <laughs> can you buy chocolate there? <laughs> oh, <laughs> your jokes. Are there any shops? <laughs> you love my nearby shops, shops yes. Okay. But okay. definitely, you can. We can get a Mars. Can you get a Mars bar? <laughs> Are Mars there? No, you're being funny. <laughs> I'm serious. Deadly serious. We gotta have Mars. Anyway, okay. keep going. Yeah, yeah. Another one here is Coron Palawan. It's uh-huh. this is a um, tropical paradise. Crystalline water, mm. pristine. Beaches. I'm uh, there. I'm closing my eyes. Yeah. Uh-huh. I- imagine that's the, you know that's a dream. Are there birds? There? Holiday. Can are there birds? There? Yeah. One of which is me. <laughs> <laughs> Not crows. Not good crows. birds though. The seagull. Maybe a seagull. Perhaps. I don't mind the sound of seagulls. You shouldn't trust them, but the sound of their voice. Not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's Koran Palawan. Mm-hmm. Another one is the Puerto Princesa Underground River, which is a UNESCO. Heritage site. You got one of those. Great. Yeah, Great. <laughs> it's the longest navigable underground river in the world. Uh huh. So it's underground river. river. Yeah, yeah. Was that was that where the problem was not too long ago? Was it with the the kids? Or am I thinking of a different country? Am I completely wrong? I'm not quite sure what you're talking so, about. Tell us about. Have you been on it? Oh well, the good thing is I haven't been there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I've heard, you know, yeah. stories about this place, yeah. and that's Great. why I'm. You so know, it's, it's a, a good cave way system, basically. Come navigable, again. yeah, navigable underground river. It's a cave kind of system. Yes, yeah. exactly. Oh. So you can use a boat to look around, you know, mm. the area. And do you have bats in under there? I'm not quite sure if there are bats there, but I don't mind if there are. Yeah, me, me neither. Yeah, because you talked about it in our love first them. episode of love them. Love bats. You love them. I'm not afraid. I, I wouldn't fancy a vampire bat, but I don't believe you have those. <laughs> I don't think so. We know. I think South America, somewhere like that. Maybe Mexico. It's more like fruit bats, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Bigger ones. <laughs> yeah. They would be interesting to me. Great. They're not scary. Don't worry. Mm. And then, what else do I um, can I recommend? Um, so I've mentioned Baraka, Chocolate Hills, Coron Palawan, for the Princess, um, Shargao. Oh my God, that. You know, um, tear shaped, uh, sorry, teardrop shaped island, which is mm. known as the um, surfing capital of the Philippines. Yeah. Um, I'm not quite sure if people, I mean, like you, know about Chargao, but no. really, the, it's the best place to go uh, surfing. Tell me this: Are there any sharks? No. I'm very, uh, I know. Me, I know. I know. Not sure. But. But we have some sharks in the Philippines. I'm not quite sure. But I don't will think they, they, will they we have sharks. In. Will they like? Mm, there's a toe. <laughs> mm, yum yum. No. no. And I I haven't heard of any news of people being bitten or eaten by sharks. Okay. So that reassures me. So do you recommend a good place to surf? 
Absolutely, yeah. Have you are you are you into surfing though? No, but I mean, but I, you can try. I like sea. I like swimming. I, I could try. Yeah, sure, sure. That would be a good good place to too, start with. Too cold in Northern Ireland to surf. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, it's so cold. <laughs> but yeah, have you surfed? No, not yet. <laughs> Say not yet. <laughs> not yet. Yeah, not yet. Yeah. Have you skied? Because we're in Russia, right? Have you skied? No, no. Maybe. You know what? Because it's not I, popular, you know, in Northern I mean, no, not of snow. But. but I have to say though that in my country we have a skating rinks inside, mm-hmm. you know, shopping yeah. malls. Yeah. Um, I, I haven't tried it myself, and now that I'm in Russia, I'm really scared to do it because you'll fall. Yeah. Inevitably. And I, I'm yeah. sure people are gonna laugh at me. Probably. But I listen. We have a skating rink in Belfast, capital of our of our region, and. Uh, I've been only a few times. I'm bad at skating, but it's enjoyable. Have you fallen? Somehow, yeah, of course. Oh my God, I would but love to see you, you fall. Controlled fall. <laughs> it's bad. You wouldn't love to see me fall. It's not. It's not. Such a I would love to see you though, because I'm gonna record it. I, I'm gonna show it to I everyone. Mean, I'm sure people will be like. I mean, there are there are little children that are better than me, you know. <laughs> but I I love it anyway. Do you use yeah. Do you use the penguin? <clears throat> no. No, that's a step that would too be much. Embarrassing. Step too much. How? This leads me to our next question. Are you ready for it? Oh my God! What is it? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm building up. You're getting scared. Weather. How? Does, oh, what is the weather like? Because I mean, this is the number one like small talk question, but yeah. we, we still want to know about. It. Sure. So tell um, Tell me about it. Unlike. Russia, we only have two seasons there. We have mm. the dry and cold season. Dry okay. is, you know, like when it's like summer throughout. Yeah. It's very, very hot. And yeah. then the, um, what did I say? Wet season. How hot are you talking about? Um, it can get to, depending on where you are, it can get to minus 40 something. Minus 40? Yeah. You mean minus, minus 40? Uh, minus, I'm so sorry, <laughs> plus 40. What are we talking You're about? You're too used to <laughs> saying minus. Yeah. You see, because I'm hungry now. I need some burger. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, plus 40. Plus 40. Yeah, because we're in Russia. You know, minus, minus 40 is... doesn't seem so hot to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's not hot. <laughs> anyway, plus 40. <laughs> uh-huh. That's hot. Yeah. A poor Irish person, <laughs> Northern Irish person would melt in that. Yeah. And, um, but... Uh, it's so humid and I I don't know, I really hate it. The last time I was in Manila, mm. I kept complaining. You know what? Um, there there was a time when um, it was in the evening. I Well, I don't have um, uh, air conditioning in my flat, but I do yeah. have electric fan. And even that in itself wasn't enough. Mm. I had to fan myself yes. while I was sleeping. Can you believe that? No, I, I mean, yes, but it, <laughs> it doesn't sound good to me. And you know, Every time I step out of the flat, mm. I start to perspire. I sweat right. up. It's 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 as if uh, I ran I don't know yeah. a mile. If it's tough for you, it would be for me. I, I'm sure. sure. Uh, a friend and I were in Jerusalem in a hotel uh, on a tour, and it was 30, mm-hmm. and it was the first time we'd ever experienced 30 because you just don't get that. Oh my god! And we were like in Jerusalem, and we put on the air conditioning in the hotel, and we had it <laughs> at 17. You know, inside the hotel. I ended up with a blanket though, oh. sleeping with a blanket. There's 30 degrees outside. My yeah, goodness. But no, I mean, 30 is hot for me, so 40 would be like, uh-oh, uh-oh. That's healthy. ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, when it comes to the wet season, sometimes we do experience uh, tropical storms. Mm-hmm. We do have, um, uh, what's this? I forgot the name. Anyway, uh, when we have storms in our country, especially in Manila, Mm-hmm. Oh my God, flood happens and yeah. flood level. Can you imagine? Sometimes it can go, what? Um, it can be, you know, as high as the first floor of a building. Oh dear. Yeah. And um, I remember when I was growing up in the village after having been born in, in Manila, when we yeah. moved to the village, uh, the first floor of our house was basically in flood water. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> but the funny thing, are uh, you prepared for that? Well, um, we're, I mean, is it waterproofed or whatever? No, we had to carry all of our things, uh, upstairs. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, that was always not good. Yeah, absolutely not. Fun. But the thing here though, was when I was young, just like mm-hmm. my neighbors who, you know, they were kind of excited with the flood because mm-hmm. they, they got the chance to swim. 
Okay. However, <laughs> I grew up in a there strict, are other ways. Yeah, I grew up in a strict household, and yeah. my grandmother, she was absolutely, uh, absolutely adamant. She she didn't want us to go out and swim. Yeah. Yeah. But one time when my grandmother was away, uh, she was in Manila, and uh, the one who looked after us was my aunt. Mm. She was more lenient. Yeah. And one time I asked her, um, "Can I can I go out? I just want to have a swim." Yeah. And well, <laughs> she was she was very happy to allow me. Yeah. So it was my very first swim. Yeah. However, I have to say though. Um, it, that was the first and the last. Yeah. Because when in flood, the flood, you mean? Yes. Yeah. When flood happens, yeah, it's not a very clean kind of uh-huh. flood I water. Not. It's yeah. muddy. It's dirty. Yeah. And I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say this because they might be grossed out. Okay. The listeners. Temperate a little bit. I don't know how don't I Don't use say the word this. I think. Okay, I'm not gonna use the word. <laughs> anyway, so let's just There's say something in the water. Yeah. Th- there was yeah. something in the water. <laughs> not not that you want to partake of drink or anything. Yeah. We don't need yeah. to say that anymore, but okay. there was something in the water that made me say, um We will I'll let our this. imagination yeah. take us. Yeah. So it's not a good idea after all. So mm. I went back home and I thought that's so it. So there's problem there are problems with the water too in the I mean, yeah, the weather. Do it in the food. Yeah, of course. Okay. Uh, now, a couple of quick questions. Do you use chopsticks? <laughs> it's Asia, right? But, I mean, oh here's God. me, stereotypical Sam. <laughs> yeah, you sound you very use stereotypical. I'm sorry. But I have to forgive you, though, because, of course, not... Well, I would say that some people in Europe, I, I don't think they know much about my country. Absolutely not. They just think that, oh, East know, Asia, they must yeah. use um, chopsticks. No, we don't use chopsticks. We do eat rice. Yeah, but we eat rice. <laughs> and I'm proud of that. Mm-hmm. We use, of course, spoon and fork, um, which is, well, if you have to compare us with our neighbors like Thailand or even Vietnam, well, definitely they use chopsticks. But yeah. Filipinos, no. In fact, we it's are... It's because of the Spanish, isn't it? Yeah, we are an mm-hmm. anomaly. Mm-hmm. We are an, uh, an anomaly. You're standing Why? against the tide of chopsticks. <laughs> no, not just that, but being Asian. Because, yeah. well, physically speaking, you see us, obviously, we're Asians. Yeah. But we have English first name. Yeah. By the way, Ken is not my real name. My yeah. real name is JR. And uh-huh. a lot of us use English names like Philip, Daniel, uh-huh. what else? Um, John, Peter, uh-huh. and then... Philip. Yeah, <laughs> Philip, of course, Philip. <laughs> so, um, English first name, but uh, s- uh, Spanish surname. For uh-huh. example, Amante, Rod- Rodriguez, Gonzalez, uh-huh. De La Cruz. Uh-huh. And um, like English-speaking Asians. Yeah. Yeah. So we're You're not the against the typical, tide. Yeah. absolutely. Can you describe some of your cultural food? Oh we, my god, we need to know about this. I don't want to gross you out, but <laughs> <laughs> there's something that I'd like to share. Okay, <laughs> but um, I don't think it's uniquely Filipino. Though. I have no idea what you're going to say. Uh-huh. Um, well, we have what we call balut. Yeah. Balut is uh, um, it's a boiled embryo of a duck. Okay. And um, tasty. It's tasty, although I haven't tasted it myself. I mean, I'm talking right. about the flesh. Because yeah, yeah. can you imagine when you crack open an egg and you see this little tiny mm. duckling inside and then eating it is I mean, not appealing to me, I must say. <laughs> but I have, you know, I have tried somewhat the soup. Yeah. It tastes really good. Yeah. But I, I've never. Is it in the soup? It's not in the soup, but just the flavor of it. Yeah, uh-huh. but the meat itself, I, I just can't, you know, can't bring get it. myself into eating yeah. that because does it break your heart? <laughs> that little chick. It's like eating a fetus. It's yeah, <laughs> not good. Okay. But although many I Filipinos eat that, chicken, I must say, yeah, I love chicken, and I like eggs. <laughs> I don't know if I want to eat the in between part. Yeah, <laughs> somehow. Okay, and then we have what else? Um, we have adobo. Um. Mm-hmm. It can be chicken adobo or po- pork adobo. Basically, it's um, well meat mixed with um, vinegar and soy sauce. Uh-huh. I don't know how you can imagine that, you know, when you eat it, but it's very tasty. It's yeah. one of our signature dishes that okay. you need to taste. I wish I could cook though, so I could give yeah. you one. Any meat is good in my book. Yeah. 
Did I say vinegar? Wait, wait. Vinegar, yeah. I said, oh my god. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you yeah. right? <laughs> oh my god. Wait, wait, I got it mixed up. Is that adobo or is that sinigang? <laughs> oh my Don't god, that's me. sinigang. Yeah. Oh my okay. god, I got it mixed up. Hopefully, no Filipino people are listening. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I I remember afterwards I made a mistake in my my podcast. I said the mountain was about eight hundred. What? It's more like I think it's more like four hundred and eight. I don't, I don't know exactly. Well, you see, I, this is that I feel embarrassed, but in anyway, it's okay. It's well, not, not a big deal, I think. No now, one, now no you one will take big offense, right? Yeah. Now you know that I'm not a typical Filipino because well, oh. I don't cook. I don't. Uh huh. <laughs> when it comes to food, how embarrassing! I mix them up. Oh. <laughs> you see, that's why I told you. The main thing is you describe. <laughs> is it very spicy food? No, there's hot just one food. particular region in my country where they prepare, you know, hot and spicy food. We call it uh, um, Bicol Express. It's really uh, hot, it's spicy. Uh, um, but like it's that. just specific like to one region. Food. Yeah, okay. I like that kind of food. But anyway, it sounds good, apart from the little fetus of a chicken. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No, uh, let's move on. I have one more question. <laughs> what is it? Do you have any fairies or leprechauns? Um, no, we don't have that, but we have um, Diwata. Uh, no, no, Diwata. Yeah, that, mm-hmm. that is a fairy. Yeah. I'm not quite sure if it's originally Filipino or Spanish influence, though. And we have Duende. Duende, it's yeah. um, dwarves. Okay. And, you know, for some reason. Well, like a leprechaun, I think. Still, a lot of people believe in them. For example, if you go to the forest, you have to be careful. Um, we say tabi tabi po. Tabi tabi po. That means uh, excuse us, mm-hmm. um, because we don't want to probably step on them or probably say or do something that might offend Where these this idea little from? creatures. Where I don't know if that's come? original Filipino. Isn't it strange that like in Ireland people have leprechauns, fairies, and you have something similar in the Philippines? Yeah. Well, weird. Do you believe? I used to believe in them when yeah. I was young. Yeah. Of it's course, like not anymore. Molder from X Files. I want to. <laughs> or maybe that was Scarlet. Yeah. Okay. Who are we? Aren't you supposed to ask me about the kind of English that we have in the Philippines? I didn't think you talked a lot about that already. No, 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 no. I want to share with okay. you uh, Tell this us thing. Then. Tell us. Okay. Um, we have Filipino English or Philippine mm-hmm. English, which is a variety of English, of Slang course. words and stuff. Um, I yeah, somewhat, but. You know, um, in the Philippines, if you go there, of course, everybody knows toilet room, restroom, or uh-huh. whatever. Uh-huh. However, in my country, we don't really say toilet room or restroom. Yeah. Do you know how we call it? You told me, but I can't recall. We call it comfort room. The comfort room. <laughs> the comfort room. You know, we have a phrase like the throne. I'm on the throne. <laughs> Is it like that? Do you have the yeah, throne? Kind of. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> So, You're or on the throne in the comfort room, <laughs> <laughs> or in short, we say CR. Mm-hmm. So, for example, if we go to the mall, um, we ask the guard, uh, "Excuse me, where's the CR?" Mm-hmm. And automatically, we you know, know that yeah. we're referring to the toilet room. Um, but I have to say though that I'm happy that I am aware of that because some Filipinos, um, when they go to other countries, sometimes you know, you, you know, it, it's they're hard to for, switch. They're it. looking for some comfort. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, uh, excuse me, where's the comfort room? What? Yeah. Comfort room? Uh, CR? Yeah. Ah, uh, what do you mean? It would throw me. Uh, and then suddenly they, they realized, <laughs> ah, okay, I'm so sorry. I, I meant toilet room. Mm, okay. But then we don't even call it a room. It's just like toilet. Yes. Yeah, okay. Toilet, bath. Well, maybe bathroom. But even if there's no bath. <laughs> okay. So okay. that's one of those distinct, you know, words that we have. And mm-hmm. another one, the word salvage. Of course, when mm-hmm. we say salvage, that means to rescue, for example, um, um, a ship that's yeah. wrecked. Yeah. But in my country, though, especially the media, when you say salvage, that means summary execution of a suspected criminal. Okay. So it's quite you, different from the original <laughs> Totally doesn't mm-hmm. make sense at all. But all Filipinos... Um, understand it that way. So yeah. if you were salvaged, that means you committed a crime yeah. and then you'd be maybe, gone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Better not to be salvaged. Yeah. <laughs> Which is, you know, <laughs> ironic because it's supposed to save you. But yeah. in Filipino English, is, you're going to be dead. Um, not so good. Yeah. So I think we should be careful of those words. Absolutely. Okay. Should we call it a day? Yeah. I guess that's that. That was what's the crack? And it was interesting. 
Yeah. I must say. That was fun. See you next time. See you later.